dear friends now it is time to start our dhamma sermon we are in dhamma pad atta vag stanza number 157 atta nanche piyan janya rakkeya nam surakkita ஜிலன்ட் stanza is if one holds oneself dear one should protect oneself well during every one of the three watches of life the wise man should keep vigil against evil in this stanza password that we should pay full attention piyang janya piyang janya it means if one holds oneself dear you like to maintain your life happily peaceful peace and happiness is one of goal actually that is the main goal of our life peace and happiness so pian janya who like to have that kind of life peaceful happy life every living beings have that same goal to be peaceful and happy so what if they have that kind of lifestyle life goals what they should do rakkeyanam surakkitam rakkeyanam surakkitam they have to take care very well one should protect oneself well they have to take care each and every things about their self what are those tinna manya tarang yama in this life in our life there are three uh watches particular time periods three time periods are there which we call childhood young and old old age these three watches period of the time of your life you have to protect yourself if you are protecting yourself then the qualities that you have which is regarding to pandit the wise man's qualities are there with you wise person's qualities are there with you so what is this means attanam chepian jana it is very clear who is willing to be happy and peaceful smooth lifestyle that person should rakkeya nam surakkita should protect their life when tinya manya taranyama beginning middle and end in this life stream beginning middle and end these three stages you should keep your mindfulness and you should you should keep eye on your behavior what kind of behavior is with me for what to protect yourself to protect yourself this is this this quality you can see only with wise people patijagya pandita you can see this quality is with wise people this is the wiseness wisefulness 
So, why Buddha gave this kind of advice for us? Rakkiya nam surakkitan tinna manya taranyam. Because, dear friends, through your experiences, you can see what was your life when you were young, when you were uh, kids, children, in your childhood. What was, what kind of feelings you had? As a young person, you have energy, that energetic person you're ready to think about. I mean, carelessness is very uh, spread things in that your young age. It is unique for all living beings, not just human, even the other living beings also. In their young age, they are living carelessly. They don't take care. They don't think deeply and widely. Why? Because they have energy, pull of energy, and they are, they can do so many activities. They are powerful. They don't feel any weaknesses in their physical basis. They are full of energy, so they can think they can do whatever they want. They have that conceit in their mind, which we call Yobbana Mother. Conceit of youngest. They have that. So, as a younger person, then they are ready to do whatever they wanted to do. See, around the world, you can see so many people just they spend their time, particularly in the evening, in social connections and staying in public places, restaurants, pubs, spending their time with their uh, time as well as their energy without driving into right directions, they stay in wrong directions, wrong status. Why? Because they have conceit of young. I am a young person. We have to enjoy this world. I have to enjoy through my bases. Here, no stun, all these bases I have to, uh, all, all these bases I have to, used to enjoy my life, taking good pictures and hearing good sounds, what, what you like. But that is not the reality. That is not the reality. But at that age, because of that uh, fever that you have, you can't see that reality. So you're going to miss so many things because of that conceit and fever that you have. It is happening in this very life. You can see some youngers, they sometimes end in their life in their young age because of their unwholesome behavior. Unwholesome behavior. They are not ready to listen to their parents. They are not ready to listen to adults, teachers, or any other good friends because their blindness is there. They are living with their blindness. So they don't have good mental capacity to think deeply and widely. They take actions very quickly without thinking. Then finally, they are suffering their self and also their parents are suffering. It's happening. So dear friends, the Buddha advised us if you are willing to be happy in your life, these three periods of time, these watchers, three watchers, you should take care, you should protect your mind. Why you want to protect your mind? 
not to develop your ego, not to develop your unwholesomeness, ego which is directly connect with your ignorance, not to develop your ignorance, not to develop your greed, hatred. You should protect your mind for your happiness from these defilements in these three stages. So that kind of person can be happy. If you are not able to protect as a, in your childhood, then you have to protect, at least you have to try to protect in your young age. Even though if you miss that age, you try to protect in your adulthood. Take care in yourself as a, a senior person. So in this manner, at least one of the stage you should use to increase your wholesomeness. For what? For your happiness. If you are not able to do that, so your life would be miserable, painful, seropul, why there is no any particular things to think yourself and to be happy, which is very dangerous, which is very harmful. Therefore, the Buddha is advising us, protect your life from what? From defilements. Don't let Control your life by defilements. What are the defilements? Root of, root of defilements are ignorance, avidya, greed, tanha, anger. All these roots are the unwholesome roots. Therefore, you have to pay full attention to protect by these unwholesome roots, uh, roots uh, your mind. Why? You like to be happy. You are willing to be happy. Happiness is main goal for our life. We are working for that. So e increasing your egoistic thoughts because of your ignorance, you're going to destroy your happiness. Dear friends, your happiness is not depending on someone else. Your happiness is depending on yourself. But unfortunately, most of our friends are think, my happiness is depending on such and such things. Buying a luxury car, building a big house, having big parties, we think we can be happy engaging with such things. No, dear friends, that is not the actual, the reality. Reality is take care in your mind, not, to, not allowing to your mind to gain your anger, desire, hatred, if you can manage, this is the real way that you can gain your happiness. This is the real way that you can gain your happiness. Therefore, whatever the luxury things you are consuming, it does not matter. But because of those luxury things, don't develop your ignorance, egoistic thoughts. I am a such a such a person. Who is that fellow? I may not supposed to associate that kind of poor people. They are in low level class. I am not. This is the way how your egoistic thoughts are coming into your mind. So you have to protect your mind. Why you want to protect? Anger is there. Hatred, anger, greed, and mainly ignorance not knowing. These 
rules are not helpful for our happiness therefore we have to think we have to protect our mind we should think deeply and widely to see the reality to stay with the reality this is very important so dear friends in here in this particular stanza the buddha mentioning very important three things pianjanya if you like to be happy and yes of course everybody like to be happy and peace tinna tinnam anyam taram yama in your life there are three stages in these three stages at least if you are not able to ma- maintain your mindfulness in three stages at least try to be mindful in one stage why you can in- increase your wholesomeness something is better than nothing patijagaya patijagaya if you are not able to manage your life with wholesome thoughts and wholesome activities in your whole life at the end of life there are so many evidence to be disappoint yourself so many evidence are there would be there to disappoint yourself we got this human life because of our previous merits previous merits as you know according to the how we can recognize this is the way how we can recognize we got this birth because of our previous life previous merits as you know according to dependent origination in paticca sampada starting with avijja paccha sankhara avijja ignorance is the main reasons to have accumulation gain accumulation develop Um, gaining and then avijja paccha sankhara sankhara paccha vijnanam vijnana paccha namaru because of that accumulation you have consciousness because of consciousness you get you 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 get mentality and materiality all these things are happening because of your previous come good or bad we born to this human world as a human beings because even though we had ignorance but that ignorance full of merits we had ignorance but it is full of merits so we were able to gain our we were able to gain this life to get this life with the help of that merits even though with the influence of our ignorance we have this sansaric journey we are in this sansaric circle but with the help of merits we are able to get human birth and even today now we can hear something benefits for ourselves to see the reality to realize the reality so every these things happen now you can see this life we got because of our previous meritorious deeds not this life previous in this sansara so protecting yourself you can gain merits and also one day with with the, with the help of that merit sir you are able to get rid of this sansaric journey how gain in wisdom human life is the li- only one and only life who can gain wisdom this is not my words this is the buddha's word the buddha the buddha said to become buddha to become arahant to become any of saint who level like sotapanna nagami arahat you should be a human being you should be a human being in this very life but there is some other things that you have to keep in your mind when you attain sotapanna in this life but 
in Brahma world, you can finish your journey. That is something else. But in this very life, if someone want to attain any of these sainthood level, they should be human beings. None other beings are able to do that. Therefore, particularly as a human being, having this human life, we should use benefits for our uh, eternal happiness. Eternal happiness. That's why Buddha said, uh, we have to protect our life, particularly our mind. All these ages, if you are missing one, the first one, then you try to be right, correct person in your second stage. If you are missed that second stage also, you should be in your third steps. This is the way how Buddha explained. Buddha gained, Buddha gave this stanza, uh, King uh, Kosala San Bodhiraja, Prince Bodhiraja. Not Kosa, Bimisara's son, Bodhiraja. Bodhiraja, Prince Bodhiraja was one of uh, one of rich prince, and he wanted to build a new palace, which was very wonderful and beautiful, luxurious palace. He married another princess, both of them were planning to have an open ceremony for their palace. They invited to the Buddha and the Mahasanga to come to their place. And they did not have children. The, the couple did not have children. And then at that ceremony, the day the Buddha, Buddha is visiting them, he use a white cloth as a carpet to touch by the Buddha, but at the carpet, at the white cloth, the Buddha did not, Buddha, uh, Buddha asked to someone take it out. Then they took out, Buddha went to this, the dining hall, sat, and they had Pindapatha, and at, at the end of the Pindapatha, Buddha gave a Dhamma talk. During that time, the, pri the prince was asking from the Buddha, why, venerable sir, you did not go through this white cloth? Then Buddha said, because you had the, some kind of thoughts. If I'm if we're going to have a baby, then Buddha would go through this white cloth. I know you don't get, you don't have that chance to have a baby. baby. That's why I did not go through this white cloth. Then they were questioning the Buddha, why we don't get a baby? Because in previous life, you had you had done you both had done some own mistake things. As a result of that unwholesome karma in this very life, you don't have enough merits to have a baby. Therefore, in this very life, you have to think about, now you are in young age, without thinking your childhood, now you have to focus on this age, young age, to gain your insight. So, Buddha gave this advice, Atanam che pian janya. You like to be happy. Having children, they like. If they don't have children, they, that, that would be the reasons to disappoint they, their self. Even so, they're having a uber wealthy life. Because of this one thing, they're ready to disappoint their self. It's happening. Therefore, Buddha said, already you finished your childhood. Now you are in young age. In this young age, you have to take care of your mind. You have to protect your mind to gain your spirituality, gain your wisdom, 
then somehow just listening to this Stensas and Buddha's explanation, he was able to attain Sotapanna, first level of sainthood. And so we have a lesson in this stanza. The lesson is whatever the state we are in, it does not matter. We have to open our mind to see ourselves without depending on others outside. We have to focus inside to see ourselves because we are willing to be happy. Happiness is the goal for our life. So we have responsibility to gain that happiness because we don't know in this sansaric journey how would be our next life. What kind of life we may get, we, won't, we may going to get. We don't know that because we have to use this opportunity without postponing. Using this opportunity, we can gain our insight. We can gain our wisdom. Through that wisdom, we can see the reality. So seeing the reality, we can establish our happiness. When you establish your happiness, there is no any chance to lose that happiness from you. I think that would be enough for today. Uh, let us use this opportunity to share merits with uh, others. First of all, think about departed relatives, friends, and family members, also your pets who departed name of us. By the power of these merits and methods, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. May they have wonderful, peaceful life, and also may they be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana. Having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Whoever is affected COVID-19 and any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits and methods, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. Having that aspiration, make blessings upon them, saying, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May you all be well, happy, and peaceful. All your wishes come true by the power of this merits and mitta. May we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bante. Thank you, Bante. Thank you, Bante.